Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to reset your network settings and also access passwords to your Asus Store NAS device. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why are you making this video? Because obviously, preventing the security is a bad thing. Don't worry, this only affects if you have physical local access to the NAS. So, if you're trying to do this from somewhere remotely, it's not going to work. You have to get someone actually in front of the NAS. Now, this actually works on pretty much every single Asus Store NAS box out there and is a safeguard. So maybe at some point you're unable to access the IP address for some reason, or maybe you've switched out your router or your router's had an upgrade, you've got a new modem and your IP address is all changed and your NAS basically doesn't know what to do with it all and you basically cannot access your NAS at all. Or potentially if you've done what I've done today and that is you've accessed your password incorrectly numerous times whilst testing, which uh, unfortunately does happen more frequently than I'd like to admit, but anyway, I digress. So you want to reset your device. Now this isn't going to affect the data, the file structure or anything like that on the device at all. This is purely designed to reset the login credentials. And also at the same time, it briefly will allow the administrator account, which is normally disabled. It will allow that to become active. So then you can log back into your NAS as the administrator and then you can change any things you need to do, such as network settings, maybe reactivate a previous user account, which has been blocked. Now there are some things to bear in mind when we do this reset. So obviously it isn't gonna affect your data, so you don't have to worry about that. But what it will do is it'll reset the settings back to their defaults. So the IP address will generally be set to DHCP. So it'll pick one IP address from your router or whatever you're doing. So it's gonna be like 192.168.0 one or whatever it'll be. Uh, don't worry about it too much because we can actually find out the new details in the ACC software or ACU Store Control Center. So no worries there. It will actually give you a new username and password temporarily, which will be admin and the password will be uh, admin. Again, this is for emergency use. So obviously disable the admin account after you've done this. Also, another thing to bear in mind is your firewall will actually be reset as well to accept all connections. So yeah, again, we're going to show you some other things as well and also some things after you can do to prevent this happening. So if you're getting accidental lockouts because your users are incorrectly putting their passwords in and they are local users and you don't want to keep on being hassled by it, I'm going to show you a really easy way of actually rectifying that. So let's start off with how to actually reset these units. So it's really easy to do. All you need is a screwdriver or some kind of pinpoint thing, a pin, a SIM card removal tool, that sort of thing. Then all you need to do is to take a look at the back of your NAS device and normally just below the either the Ethernet ports or in between the USB ports, there'll be a very small indentation. And what we're going to need to do is to press that little reset button in for a few seconds, around like five to ten seconds until we hear a single beep, at which point we can release it, give it a few seconds and then we should be able to log in. So let's go ahead and try that now. So it's a little bit on the dark side, but hopefully you can make it out. So there are our Ethernet ports and just underneath there. A tiny little hole there which is the reset button so we've got our little pokey tool or sim tool and what we're going to do is stick it in the hole there we go it's a bit difficult to do from this angle and all we're going to do is just press in for about five seconds and wait for the beep there we go there is the beep so now all we need to do actually you can see now the network activity light is flashing away like crazy so that means it's actually doing something so what we can do now is we can head over to the Asus Store Control Center and we can attempt to log back in again. So now we're on our Windows desktop PC. I've already got the Asus Store Control Center installed. And as you can see, it's got my previous information on there. So the IP address. So what I'm gonna do now is just click on scan and uh, we're looking for that to have changed. Yep, and there we go. So it's gone back to the original defaults. So we've gone from 192.168.10.200 to 192. 168.10.67, which is the default. So now what we can try and do is highlight that, then click on open. And now it's great because we've got access to the actual screen. The time and date is still okay because obviously our data is still intact. So what we can do now is use the admin account. So admin and admin, hit enter. And there we go. Saying about changing your password and all that kind of stuff because it was found in a data breach, etc. That's pretty obvious. And we'll cancel that, we don't want to save that. So yeah, essentially now we are logged in and you can change things like your HTTP and HTTPS ports, which I suggest you do. I'm not gonna do it at the moment because I'm gonna be resetting this again very shortly anyway, because I'm just showing you this for an example. 
we'll go into that next log on. So now if we go into our settings box over here, and we'll go into local users, you'll now see the admin account has now been made active. And the account that I wanted to be using, this one here, the mic account, we can go into that now and I can change the password to something which I can actually remember. So that's all well and good. We're all, all off to the races. And obviously when you've redone that reboot, log in as yourself, then click on the admin account and then you can set it to uh, disabled. So that's all well and good. But something else you wanna do as well, go back into here. So we go into ADM Defender. And what you can do is in your network defender, your trusted list, do what I've done here. So you can add your IP address range. So if somebody locally on your own internal intranet or possibly logging via Telscale or whatever, I think they appear as the same thing anyway, but regardless, so just go into add. You can either do a specific IP address if you're just a single user, or if there's a group of you, you can just do an IP4 range and type in your starting and ending IP addresses. So in our instance, 192.168.10.1 right the way through to 192.168.10.254. Hopefully you get the general idea, but basic networking stuff. But once you've done that, you will then have that subnet range all excluded or basically added to your trusted lists. So the IP specified in the trusted list will not be blocked by the blacklist after multiple failed login attempts. So this is just to help local users. You don't have to do this, but for me personally, it's, it's pretty helpful in case I forget a password because we do review lots of things and there's lots of passwords. So sometimes you get them confused and you try and log in thinking something is right when it's quite clearly wrong. Anyway, that's enough waffling. So when you're done, just click on apply and you're pretty much good to go. So there we go. Hopefully that is going to be helpful if you're getting problems logging into your ASUS store NAS. And actually this particular one just come in for us for review. So if you want to check this out, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the chime button. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. This is a cracking little NAS and uh, yeah, very, very inexpensive. Well worth a look. Anyway, like I said, hopefully this has helped you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content, obviously subscribe and click on the chime button. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.